To set up folders on the PlayStation, it's really easy to do. So you might want to set up a folder for racing games, or you might want to do one for digital games or disc games. So let's say if I was going to do one for disc games, what I could do is, for everyone that's got a disc, I would just hit Options, and then I would go down to Add to Folder, press X, Add to New Folder, and then I could name it what I wanted. Then go down to OK. And now you see I've got a section here for the folder that says disk games. Now to add more to it, what I will have to do is go and find my next disk game. And then again, press options, add to folder, and I can add it to the existing folder, disk games. Okay, and now there'll be two games in it. And you will just do this for all the games you want to put in there. And now you can see when we go along to it that all the games are listed underneath it. And by doing this you can have a nice clean home screen with disc based games, digital games, perhaps PlayStation Now games. And this way you don't have to scroll all the way across to find the games you want. If you want racing games you can put them in a separate folder, fighting games etc. You can swap between two different applications on the PlayStation very easily. So for example, if you were playing a game and then on the browser you were watching a playthrough of that game, you can just swap between them. So here we have Nidhogg and pretend that I'm playing now and I want to check something out. Press the PlayStation button twice and you can see now that I'm watching a YouTube video about it. Press it again and it goes back to the game. Press it again and it goes to that. So this is useful if you're trying to work your way through a game and you just want to keep flicking between them. To adjust the brightness of your light bar on your PlayStation 4 controller, it's really easy to do. Just press and hold the PlayStation button and then go to Sound and Devices and go across to Brightness of DualShock 4 light bar and press X. At the moment it's on Bright, which is standard. We can change that to Medium by just going to Medium and pressing X and then we can change it to dim as well. So that's the dimmest setting, there's only three settings, so it goes dim, medium, standard, which is the brightest. Bear in mind if you have it on the dimmest setting, it may not always work properly with the PlayStation camera, depending on how bright the room is. If you've got a headset connected to your PlayStation 4, either via the controller or via the console itself, then you can decide whether you want the chat audio to come through here and the game audio through the TV, or whether you want the chat and the game audio to come through the headset. For example, you might be playing late at night and you want everything to come through here so you don't disturb anybody. All you've got to do is hit the PlayStation button, and then you need to go to where it says sound and devices and when you plug this in you will get these other options come up here so for example if this was unplugged these would be greyed out but then as soon as you plug it in you have the ability to click on them so all we have to do is go to where it says output to headphones and press X and you have two options there all audio or chat audio if we put it to all audio then all the game sound and the chat audio is all going to be coming through here. So you will be able to hear what happens in the game and also your friends chatting through here. Then if it's late at night, you can just decide to put your TV on mute and then you will still be able to carry on playing. If you want just your friends chat through here and then the game sounds coming through the TV, then you need to change that to chat audio. If you want to hide one or more of your games, so information about the game doesn't appear in your activities profile or trophy list, then we can change this in the PS4 settings. So what we need to do is we need to go up to settings, we need to go to account management, press X, and you need to go to privacy settings. Then you can click on games, and you can go down to hidden games. Then go to hidden games for PS4, here we can choose the games that we would like to hide. So let's say if I wanted to hide Nidhogg, then I would go to confirm. Obviously you can click all of them or some of them or just one of them. Go to confirm. And now if I was to go up to my profile, you will now see when I go to games, if I was to go to Mantis Burn Racing, it doesn't say anything, but if I was to go up to Nidhogg, it will say here, hidden from other players. Now, if you're playing this, other players can still see you're playing it because of the now playing setting. So if we want to get rid of that one, all we've got to do is set online status, and then we need to go appear offline.
and now if you are playing that game, nobody will know you're playing it. You will now see that there will be an X next to your profile picture and it will say appearing offline. If you've got more than one PlayStation 4 or you've signed into a different PlayStation 4 and you want to download the games that you've previously bought from the PlayStation Store, all you've got to do is head over to Library and then you will get a list of the games that you've previously bought. So on the left hand side go down to Purchased and then you will see the games that you own but you haven't yet downloaded onto this particular PS4 because it will have a little arrow next to it like that and that means you're allowed to download it. So if I was to go to Micro Machines World Series press X and now it gives me the option to download it. Okay and it says add it to downloads and now it will just download over the internet and if you go back to your home screen you will now see up the top here Micro Machines has appeared and once it's downloaded you'll be able to play it. And if you want to see how much left you've got on the download, you can just look at the bar here, that would give you an indication, or if you want a more accurate reading, you just go up to where it says notifications, and then you can see there, it will show you there how much is left. So at the moment, you've got roughly 26 minutes left, it's 6.6 .6 gigabytes, and at the moment it's just done over 500 megabytes. So we're one twelfth of the way through. To access the quick menu on the PlayStation 4 we just press and hold the PlayStation button and then if we want other menu items there we can just go down to customize, go across to menu items and then we've got a selection of a few more. So I can go to share play and accessibility and now they will be added on to the left hand side here. So from now on I can be in the middle of a game and I just hold down this here and if I want to go to accessibility or share play I've got that option there, start share play. If you would like to view all of your games on the home screen then we can change this in the PlayStation settings. So at the moment I've only got a limited amount on here and to get to the rest I've got to go to library and then I can get to the rest of the games. Well to change that all we have to do is go up to settings and then go down to system and then here it says limit number of content items on home screen and the box is checked. Well if I uncheck that then they will all be on the home screen. Likewise, if for example you've got 100 games and you just want a limited amount on the home screen, you would check that box. So now if we go back, you will now see that the list is much longer. So before it stopped here, well now it goes all the way across here.